All right, follow her over to room number uh, number one, and you can find her at uh, Linktree forward slash Kim Conway, and her website is also Kim Conway, C O W A Conway. 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 Oh, it was spelled wrong. Okay. All right. So up next is we have Juliana Rose. Where's her? Button? Thank you, Sherry. I'm here. Well, I, I, I just want to give you an introduction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're there. Uh, so Juliana Rose is a multidimensional uh, presence here on Earth in a physical form. She's supposed to be, uh, uh, she's here to support the awakening and expansion of the consciousness of oneness. She helps assist others on the co-creation of boundless empowering, uh, bound, boundless empowering lives and discovering the higher self. For more than 22 years, it closes out these screens. For more than 22 years, Juliana has been exploring consciousness through the various metaphysical and holistic healing modalities, such as yoga, Reiki, DNA repro reprogramming, shamanism, sound movement, therapies, light language, emotional healing, and more. She is a, she provides nourishing environments for experience for those experiencing healing and reprogramming of the uncomfortable and the unknown energies to frequencies that are in harmony, balance, and resonance for all. She offers free consultation sessions for those curious about her work. She lives here in South Florida and uh, Weston, and you can find her. She's still at julianarose.net, but she's going by J Rose Healing. So that is your new branding, J Rose Healing on Linktree. And you can find all the, all the links right now in the chat. So take it to the stage, my friend. Have a good time. Thank you, Sherry. So I want to open up. Today, I will be doing a guided intuitive channeling. And um, I'm getting guided on many different levels from many of my guides. I work with ascended masters, guides. Uh, gods and goddesses, um, angels and archangels, and many, 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 many other ethereal beings throughout this universe and beyond. But my main connection is to get all of you connected to source. So as your previous speaker, Kim, had spoken about love, now I'm going to activate you with some of the higher love codes that have been happening in this big cosmic event we call summer solstice. Now, summer solstice, we had a lot of energies happen, right? I'm sure everybody's feeling kind of a little discombobulated, so to speak. And um, I want to provide you with a little bit more anchoring of light in your body and transcending to a higher, more positive, warm, friendly energy. So what is the summer solstice? The summer solstice is the longest day and the shortest night of each and every year that we have been experiencing it in these earth timelines. And every year, many, many groups have rituals and celebrations in all parts of our world and throughout the galaxy of celebrating the solstice energy. And solstice, if you just take away the this, then you have soul, which is sun, which also is your soul, right? So we come from that uh, greater source energy, which is the sun. So you get lots and lots of sun codes, and I'm very connected to the sun codes, and I will share a little bit of this with you. So the first thing we're going to do is tap the bowl. Now, I believe um, in my healings that there needs to be particular elements. Being that I have a lot of skills, I bring them all into my practice as one unit. And with that one unit, I must include sound, sacred geometry, and light codes, 
and transitioning from energy imbalances to energy balance. So that's what we're going to do today to bring in this channeled energy of summer solstice and beyond. Before I, one other thing I want to share with you guys before we start. Before I stepped into this um, Sherry Kaplan uh, virtual fair, I call opening timeline reality because we are all in different realities, right? I picked up on the channel of Venus. Now, yesterday we were blessed with higher frequency cosmic energy of several different planets, five planets specifically. And one of them being Venus. Venus holding the power for us of love codes. She also, that energy within us, which is in each and every one of us, also holds this energy to transform things into more peaceful awareness. So we're going to invite Venus as well. So on the count of three, if you'd like to join me, I invite you to join me in singing and opening up, up your throat chakra of the tone OM, being the sound, the sacred sound of the universal code within us. And it has a very specific energy signature, which is very sacred for all of us. So I invite you to uh, speak with me, sing with me, tone with me, the sound of OM. It can be spelled O-M. It can also be spelled A-U-M. So let us begin. On the count of three, you can close your eyes, put your feet on the floor to feel that magnetic attraction with your earth energy. And we begin. One, two, Three. Oh. Oh. And just sit back in your body and begin to quiet your mind. Quiet your thoughts and go inside. Go inside so deep, so expanded in your essence that all other things in the exterior world that you are experiencing no longer has a pull or control or manipulation on you. Now we are going to all invite in our highest essence of self, whatever that is for you. We sometimes can call it soul. We sometimes just call it the higher self. We sometimes just call it our higher spirit. So invite that in by everyone saying, yes, 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 I give full permission for my highest self to come into my body, mind, spirit complex now. And then also with your energy, I ask for you to give this session permission to realign, recalibrate, reintegrate, and reawaken anything that is being presented to you that is in alignment with your truth, whatever that is, however you interpret that in your life now. So say yes, 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 if you invite that energy in. 
And I thank you for you who is present now, for you are meant to be hearing this, seeing this, energetically experiencing this energy. Now we can talk a little bit before we begin the transmission. I've been doing this work for the past 22, almost 23 years now, and the month of July. Wow. So when I first started, things were rocky, things were messy, and I had a lot of traumas that I came in to the body to realign, recalibrate, reintegrate, and in order to awaken my soul. And I was about 27, 28 in New York City, and I didn't really have a big voice then. I didn't have a lot of courage. I didn't have the confidence. I had very low uh, image of myself. So I had a lot of work to do. And yet I was successful in what I was doing, yet I wasn't fully, totally fulfilled and satisfied with where I was because I was missing an ingredient in my life. And that ingredient, everyone, and I will say ingredients, was a wide open heart, my soul's frequency, and a connection to source so great that I completely trusted the path of why I was here to assist humanity in growing and becoming enlightened and provide ascension codes in order to do that. But I didn't have the confidence in me because that's not what the external world provided for me. So I needed to gain that confidence. And it wasn't until the universe came to me in such a way that I could not handle life anymore the way it was going. And I finally gave up the battles and I said, give me a sign. I don't know what it is or what it's going to be, but give me some signs, please. And what was received was a client I was teaching Pilates to, because I was a big time Pilates instructor during the mid to late 90s and into the early 2000s and mid 2000s. She provided a message for me from spirit. And her guidance said to me, you know, Juliana, there is another way. There is a lighter experience you can have. And she was reading my energy field, which I presented to source. And the rest is history because she presented to me a platform where I could go to an energy healing course and I was scared and I had lack of confidence. I didn't even know what it was, but yet with all that skepticism, I was able to open up my heart and see the light. And once I got activated to the light, the rest fell into place but it took me a while to really understand what it was. And we are all on this higher consciousness path, right? But some of us have resistance. Thank you, Mary Rose, for bringing your camera on. Anybody else who doesn't have their camera, I'd love to see your beautiful faces. Thank you. So what is happening during this time? We are getting much stronger with our cosmic events. I'll make it really quick because I want you guys to get some light, OK? 
okay, light activations and healing. Um, so we are honoring the golden rays of these light energy codes during summer solstice. Not only that, but we have during the June 21st, 2022, we have so many 369 codes happening during this time. 369 codes in numerology are very magical. We have, you know, the sacred geometry of the triangle. We have sacred geometries of the Merkaba, which is our light body activating, which a lot of ascended masters used. We also have the embodiment of the heart, which is the number six. And then we have the transformative code, divine magical code of the number nine. All of those combined is that divine magic of source, all combined in uniquely divine ways for each and every one of us in order to enhance our soul's codes, not just our soul's codes, but even beyond the soul's codes. Okay, because we don't just have a soul, we have beyond the soul connection to source, which is the all that is within us. All lifetimes, all universes, all realities within us. Aren't we so blessed? Isn't that amazing? Just smile at that, because that is such a beautiful gift. And I am a channel to assist in that. So there's a few things that you need to know before we get started. The beautiful crystalline consciousness of citrine is here today. Now, citrine is a crystalline energy that provides us with uh, great health, happiness, success, and optimism. It's also going to provide us with more abundance. So just feel into that. I'm all about the sensation and going beyond your sensations of your energy. So pay attention. We are also here with the yellow rose energy. The yellow rose energy has a positive, loving, warm, friendly energy. And it also has that divine feminine energy within us. We are also blessed with the classic slump summer plants that are used in some druid classic times and midsummer ceremonies, such as St. John's wort, chamomile, calendula, mugwort, if you can find it, and many, many other different herbs and plants. They are also coming into this sacred gathering now. We also have codes from some Egyptian known ascended masters, gods, and goddesses, such as Thoth, or Thoth, however you want to pronounce it, Isis, Horus, Hathor, Osiris, Ra, many different types of Ra, uh, Aten Ra, Amun Ra, and Athena, Athena part of the Grecian time period as well as some archangels as such as Michael, Metatron, Uriel, Raziel, some dragons, Phoenix, the Eagle, and Divine Mother Earth, all here right now. So just close your eyes for a minute and say thank you. And if you don't feel anything, Allow those energy blocks to move like a summer breeze. And allow yourself right now, right here, to connect to those portals and gateways of light that are in your heart. The heart beyond everything that you've experienced in this light, lifetime thus far. Open it in all directions and dimensions of you now. And on the count of three, let's be in that most expansive heart field as I tap on this solar plexus 
bowl, the solar plexus being the power of the sun. Here we go. One, two, three. And now feel the energy of your heart expanding below you, above you, deep within you, all around you, and all the spaces in between, all that you recognize, all that you're familiar with, and beyond the beyond the beyond. And I want you to really sit in your vehicle. Sit in your vehicle you call human. And be that divine avatar of that God, goddess-like energy now. You don't have to try. You don't have to be whatever it is. Just be you. Sit back, relax, and allow the mind to be still now. That's it. That's better. And what if there was more than that? Expand beyond your body with your energy, that invisible energy and allow it to expand beyond all form of your body. What does that feel like? Have an ounce of curiosity and wonder of what that is like. And yes, it might be a little scary and you might be a little bit skeptical of what that's about, but have an ounce of trust and come into that place of confidence in you, knowing that all is well and that you are already guided by that cosmic wisdom. You just need to tap in and turn on that fountain of wisdom within you. And we are going to open up your Akash. So just say, yes, 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 I allow, if you allow this. And whatever is present is right for you now. Do not wrong it or judge it or criticize it. It is right for you now. And behind any veils of illusion that you may be presented with, allow yourself to feel totally true, pure source love right now in this magical Akashic field. For our imagination is one of the first platforms in imagining our intentions and manifestations of a higher reality. So imagine what, what it is that you are to be learning from this reality portal that I have opened right here. And just smile and say, thank you and I love you. Thank you and I love you. And allow that energy to be transformed and transmuted with the highest source love beyond what you've ever experienced. Allow that energy to come in now. If you allow it, just say yes, yes, yes by opening. Thank you. And we're patiently just allowing the shift to happen. Patience being the higher up leveling 
of your awakening. So thank you. And now invite in any light codes that you may feel as energy, invisible energy, coming in for your reawakening to your soul essence, your heart essence. Open more and invite it in as if you're opening a thousand petals of the yellow rose in your heart, a thousand petals of the yellow rose in your third eye, right at the center of your head, and a thousand petals at the center of your navel. And allow all of those petals of the yellow rose communicate so that you can come into oneness with your truth, whatever that means for you now. And patiently allow yourself to integrate all the way in to the core of your being. Now, and the more you open, the more you receive. The more you open, the more you receive. So open, 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 open. Expand, be spacious, and go beyond what you've already learned and already know and go into the unknown, the unformed, the mystery. And now feel earth codes, earth energy, and build your relationship of your heart, heart connection at the core heart of earth. We also call her spirit Gaia, Gaia, Gaia. She is your divine mother, one of your divine mother's energy codes. So let's bring that in. If you so allow, say yes, yes, yes. For when we resist, that's what persists. When we open, that's what you allow. Openings. So feel embraced by Mother Earth at the core of her heart. And you're not going to really know what it is. So be comfortable with uncertainty with wonder and curiosity of, oh, look at that energy that's coming in. And anywhere that you feel a contraction, allow yourself to bring it divine love from that source, that unknown energy. Now, if you so allow. And I'm hearing this for a message for some of you. Yes, there is going to be some vibrations and energies of fear, pain, trauma coming up and feeling like a constriction. But you are trusting that when you open, those light energies are going to come in because you are in a safe environment where your guides are here with you, new guides are here with you, and this beautiful golden rainbow crystalline light is here now, surrounding you and cocooning you as we speak. 
So feel that comfort and joy and love and peace codes. Whatever it is, it is right for you now. Feel that stillness of the most pure divine energy and allow it to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And now you're going to surround that with this star tetrahedron shape. We call the Merkaba. Merkaba. The divine light be vehicle of the light body. And you're going to activate that. And if you feel a little funny, a little twinkly, or even a little constricted, open your heart more. I invite you to open your heart more. Merkaba. Just say it out loud, the tune of the higher realms. Merkaba. Mer meaning light. Ka meaning spirit. Ba meaning body. Merkaba. And surround yourself with those light body encodements and allow it to spin in the direction that is best for you now. So really just allow your thoughts to quiet and allow those star tetrahedron, it, it looks like two triangle, triangles coming together in a, in a multidimensional shape, one facing up and one facing down, coming together in oneness. So feel that within you. Juliana, um, yes. you're up next in the playroom if you want to continue this in the playroom, okay? Okay, so we're almost done. So just feel that activated and integrated. And we're almost done on the count of three. One, two, three, let it be so. It doesn't have to take long. And let's extend our arms out to thank all of our personal guides and close and seal this light into your light body up above you onto the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, and down into the belly and all the way down into your feet. And we thank all of our personal guides for this session and we seal and close it with the light. And we thank you. We love you. Namaste, namaste, namaste. May you all be blessed with infinite light. It is done. Thank you, Sherry. And now everybody prepare their numbers. And we will pull a number, right, Sherry? Yes, thank you very much, Juliana. Sorry to cut you off. We no, that's okay. They, so they only, only because, you know, you can just move it into the playroom and uh, allow them to stay in the zone and uh, continue your experience. So you have Shafali here who's joining us from India and it's already the next day for her. It's already four o'clock in the morning. Hi, Shafali. Uh, <laughs> so she's, uh, we don't want her to fall asleep on us. She's a trooper. So guys, if you like to win a session with Juliana, she's doing a, a door prize giveaway. Put your number in the chat from zero to a hundred. From zero to 100, door prize 30 minute session, $111 value. From zero to 100, uh, you cannot have won another prize today, only one prize per day. Okay, so we got some numbers coming in. If you guys are listening to us on the outside, not in a uh, Zoom room, you have to be here in order to win. So uh, I'm glad you're you know, putting your numbers in the chat on Facebook, but you have to be here to win, guys. So let's do a five, a four, a three, two, and one. What is your number? Seven. Seven, look how little it is. Linda. <laughs> I had to quickly feel we it. Have a, we have a Linda. 
Where is Linda in the room? There she is. Congratulations, Linda. You won the prize. Hi, Linda. Yay. So uh, you guys can um, work it out, exchange information off, off this feed, um, keep it private, whether you want to follow her to her, um, her playroom now or go visit her later in 155. I made a note. I'm and, in the playroom now, right? Right. You're going to the playroom right Okay. Now. So yeah. let's go to the playroom, everybody, and I will continue this activation. Room number one. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.